In this presentation, we're going to be entering payroll for the second month of operation. We're not running payroll through zero. For that, we would need the recommended gusto, which would be basically an add-on feature. It would cost more for it. We want to keep this with the free feature as we go through it for our demonstration problem. So therefore, we will be considering as if we had a third party like an ADP or a Paychex processing the payroll for us, giving us that information, us then needing to take that information and put it into our accounting system so that it is reflected on the financial statement. Here we go with zero. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars dashboard. We're going to be starting off by opening up the trial balance. Let's go to the accounting drop down up top and we're going to go on down to the trial balance. Once that opens up, we'll duplicate the tab by going to the tab up top, right clicking on that tab and duplicating it. Got the trial balance on the on the right. We're going to enter the data on the left. Now let's go ahead and adjust the date. We're going to bring this up to February. That's the month that we're going to be working on. So I'm going to bring it up to February 29th. Now recall the payroll process. We're imagining that we're going to be processing payroll, third party processing payroll. If you wanted to do it through zero, you can do so. They're recommending the payroll option of Gusto. That would be an add-on as it is with most softwares to process the payroll. We're imagining payroll being processed outside by some independent party or some other companies such as an ADP or a Paychex. We process payroll for January, then we paid off the liability related to January in February. Now we're gonna do February's payroll, processing the payroll for February, which will look much the same as it did for January. If we go into our data then, I'm going to go into this Excel worksheet. I put this together. We put this together together <laughs> uh, before as we thought about how to construct this thing. Now I'm just going to imagine we had the same kind of process for the second payroll uh, period, right? We would get this stuff from the uh, paychecks or from ADP. They'd say, hey, you know, we process payroll or here's the, the quarterly information or the payroll information that you need to enter into the system. These are the net checks. These are the amounts that came out of the checking account for payroll. And here's basically the detail related to it. If you want us to give the detail to, I'm, I'm imagining we're the third party like the paychecks or ADP. We are providing the payroll information to the client giving them what they need in terms of the year to date in, in information individually and the individual check ind information individually, the stuff you would like expect to see in a paycheck stub, uh, that's going to be provided. We need to put in our system then the, the take this information and put the checks in so that we can reconcile and we need to be putting into uh, in the, the related liabilities as well so that the financial statements are correct. So here's going to be the information. We have Adam, gross pay. Then we took from Adam, Social Security, Medicare, income taxes. And that means that Adam is left with only the 3,512. After we took Adam's payroll taxes, we're forced to pay Adam, you know, take Adam's payroll taxes out of Adam's wages and pay them on Adam's behalf. Then we pay on top of that Social Security and Medicare as well for our employer portion. Same for Erica here. Erica earned this. We had to take from Erica uh, her payroll taxes, which include Social Security, Medicare, income taxes, to result in a net check. That's what actually went to Erica. And, now, and then we also have to withhold, or not withhold, but pay over and above the gross pay, our portion of the payroll taxes for Social Security and Medicare. You can think of that in a journal entry format. You can think of it as a journal entry for the entire payroll, where you could say that the payroll expense, if we imagine all payroll basically as one employee, you can imagine the total payroll expense going up by the total. And then we're, we'd imagine the, the liability going up for the, the payroll taxes uh, going up by the, by the total here. And then the net checks, because there's multiple checks, would be here. Now, the problem with this is that we'd have net checks, right? So when we reconcile, we'd have multiple checks that are, that are going to be, uh, that went out, that went out on our bank statement. And we'd have to tie them into like this lump sum amount if we entered this into a journal entry in format into the checking account you can do that and that might work however uh, you might want to break it out then by by employee just so you have each check broken out and then you can enter that check information that's what we'll do here then we also have to record our other side our payroll liability which doesn't include anything in the checking account therefore we're just going to have the total which will be the payroll expenses and then the liability going up so we need to be able to take this information that might be provided to us and then enter it into our system in some way shape or form as we do down here 
So now let's enter this into the system. We're gonna enter one for uh, two checks, two check amounts, and then we'll enter a journal entry for this amount down below. So we'll have three transactions that we're going to be putting into the system. So let's go back over here and we'll go back into zero. I'm gonna go back to the first tab. We're gonna be opening up a money out uh, transaction. So I'll hit the little plus button up top. We're gonna say that the money is going out. So this is gonna be a spend money transaction. So we're going to go down to the spend money. It's gonna be coming out of the checking account. Now, some companies, remember, might have a separate payroll account, might set up a payroll account simply for processing payroll. Could be a, a good system to have. We're just gonna take it out of the checking account for our practice problem purposes here. We're gonna say the first one's gonna be going to uh, Adam. So I think Adam's already in the system. So I'm gonna type in Adam, Adam Hamilton. There we go. We're going to say this is at the end of the uh, February, so end of the month here. And I'm going to say that the description is uh, payroll. Uh, we'll just say payroll. And the amount then is going to be four. So if we go back on over here, we've got Adam. And we're going to think about the, the payroll expenses first. Now, what's going to happen in this paycheck is this is a check so that the or you know money going out so the net check is going to be down below with this amount is the amount coming out of the paycheck so we're not going to put the account up here to cash we got to do everything kind of except cash one is going to be the payroll liability so or the payroll expense i should say and that's going to be the payroll expense for the four five eight three point three three the gross pay four five eight three point three three four five eight three point three four five eight three point three three there we go that's going to be going to the payroll expense so payroll expense notice i picked up the wrong account here this is payroll tax expense which is different it should be salaries and wages i'm going to keep it the way it is now i'm going to record it and then we'll catch it i'll catch it on the review so you might want to put salaries and wages here now or you can you can go along with this and you can kind of fix it as we go forward uh in the review process in this presentation and then we also have the liability we got to deal with over here. So the liability is for Atom, the sum of these three, otherwise, uh, or the uh, 1070, this number here, 107062. So I'm going to say that that's going to be uh, 1070.62. And this is going to be going to the payroll, the liability. This is going to a liability that we're going to owe. Now notice I, this is adding them up. I need the, I need basically them to subtract. So this second one needs to be negative. That's going to be negative. And there we have it. Now that results in the 3512.71. And that's what we would expect. That's the net check, net check here. So what's this going to do when we record it? The check, the checking account is going to go down by the net check, the 3512.71. The expense is going to be going up by the gross pay, the 4583.33. And then the payable, the liability is going to go up by the 1070.62. Let's check it out. Let's save it and see if that is indeed the case. So we'll save it, see if anything funny happens, if it gives me any red things. Nope, no red things. So I'm going to go back to the trial balance, update the trial balance. So it was downdated. Now we're going to update it. And we're going to go into the checking account. We should see a check then uh, exiting the checking account for the net check. That amount being the 3,512. So if we go on down, we're looking for that 3,512. There it is. Looks good. That's what was expected. And exactly what was expected is indeed the thing that actually happened. Which is quite ironic. And then we're going to go to the, uh, the expense side of things. It's going to be down below. So the expense side of things is going to be the payroll. So I'm going to see wages and salaries. So let's go into wages and salaries. And I only see the January checks. Now I think I put it in the wrong account. So let me check it out. I'm going to go back and I might have put it into the uh, payroll tax expense, which isn't quite right. So let's check that out. I put it in. I think I put it right there because that looks like a fairly large number in payroll tax expense. So let's do that. I might have to make an adjustment for it. So I'm going to go back down and I'm going to say that, uh, yep, that one went to the wrong account. I'm going to go back into it and make this adjustment. So I'm going to go to the options up top. I'm going to edit the transaction. I'm going to edit the transaction. And then I want to change this one, not to taxes, but I think they said wages. Was it salaries and wages? I'm pretty sure that's it. So let's go ahead and check it. I'm going to update this one. Let's update that. And then we'll go back into the trial balance and see if I see if I got it right this time. 
So I'm going to go to the accounting drop down once again. We're going to go down to the trial balance. We're going to have to change the date again to the month of February, the current month we are working in. So I'll bring this out to February. So there we have it. And so February 29th. And then let's go down and see if it looks like it's going in the same spot. There it is. Payroll or wages and salaries. Let's go into that one. And we should see uh, the three checks. Two for last month and the one that we've done thus far this month. So there we have it. That that looks right to me. Okay, so let's, let's go back over and let's do the same thing for um, our second employee, Erica. We're going to select the plus drop down. We're going to go on down to the... Uh, the money spent or spend money. We'll be taking this one out of the checking account as well. So we're going to select the checking account. We're going to say that the individual will be Erica, who we are paying. So we're going to say Erica, who was set up last time. Erica. There she is. Smith. Erica Smith. Oh, uh, now I messed it up. Erica Smith. All right, and then we're going to say that the date is going to be the end of February. So there we have it. And then I'm going to say that uh, now this is going to be the full thing down here is going to be the, the net check. So I need to put the other things other than the cash up top and then it'll it'll uh, funnel out to the net check. So we have the uh, 800 is the gross check. So I'm going to say the gross check is 800. So 800 and this is going to be to wages let's pick the right account this time might be yeah nice and then the other side is going to go to the liabilities and that's going to be for the sum of these or the 17120 17120 so i'm going to say and it has to be a negative 171.20 and that's going to go to payroll federal payroll liability federal payroll liability so the net check should be the 62880 is that right? Yes, 62880. And so everything looks good there. What's this going to do when we do this? It's going to be uh, decreasing the checking account by the net check, the 62880. Increases the expense account by the 800. And then the liability account going up for the 17120. Let's check that out. I don't think we looked at the liability account last time. So we'll look at the liability this time, which will have both of those amounts in it for the two employees we've been dealing with. Let's go back up top and update the report so we can then review it. We go into the checking account then and scroll on down. We now have Erica in there. There's the net check there. I think that looks good. Then the other side of this would be on the expense side of things, which is going to be on the bottom of the good old TB trusty trial balance. And that's going to be in the wages. So let's go into the wages. We should have four checks now, two in January, two in uh, February for our two employees and two months of payroll. So there we have that. That looks pretty good. We're going to go back up top. Now the difference is going to be going to the, the withholdings, what we took from the employee because we had to. It's not like we wanted to do it, but that's for their payroll taxes. So if we go back up top, that's going to be in the federal payroll liability. Federal payroll liability. And if we scroll back down, uh, we, we have those amounts there. So that looks good. So now we just need to do the uh, employer taxes. There's no cash affected here. This is the liability that we're going to be paying in the future because we'll have to pay both the stuff that we withheld as well as our portion. Because there's no checking account involved and we don't need to tie the net check anywhere, we could just do the full thing as one lump journal entry. So let's do that. And I'm going to go back to the first tab to do it. We're going to go to the accounting drop down. We're going to go down to the reports. We're looking for that where we enter the journal entries and then we're going to go down into the accounting area and we want to go to the journal report and within the journal report we will find the add new journal. We're going to add a new journal and then in the narration let's call it payroll taxes for February and this is going to be dated for February so I'll put at the end of February. And then the description will populate for us because it'll pull it on down from up above. And then we're just going to put, put this journal entry in place. So now we have the payroll expenses this time. So I'm going to pick up the payroll expenses, that account that I messed up with and picked up on accident last time. This is going to be the payroll tax expense. So it's going to be the payroll tax expense. So that's where that one goes. And the amount's going to be for the 411.82. And then the other side is going to go to the federal payroll liability 
just just like it did with the withholdings we're still paying it to the fed it's just that the other portion of it in theory came from the employee and this portion comes from us and again i say in theory because uh you know it really kind of it kind of affects the economics of things and the deal that would be made and everything so it's not quite as straightforward as that you would think but in any case that's the idea so now we have the taxes going up on this side and this should be increasing the liability so that's what's going to happen let's let's post it that's what we hope happens that's what i'm thinking is going to happen that's what i'm planning to happen but then let's go over to the trial balance and update that report and then let's take a look at it and see if that is indeed what happened so we're going to say now that the uh the liability the payroll liability should be going up which was called the federal payroll liability this should be increasing let's go into that one scrolling down and we should see an increase for that uh, 411 there it is increase of the 411 the other side let's go on back to the other side of things or back to the trial balance and then down to the bottom of the trial balance so that we can see the other side which is going to be in the expense account this time going to the payroll tax expense on purpose that's where i wanted it to go this time that's the proper account and then we're going to go back down and say there's the other side of that one so let's go back to the trial balance and uh, that's it for now so let's get out of here <laughs>